How are we doing? Um, as promised, I was going to jump online and <clears throat> just try and help a few of you out on um, what you can be doing during lockdown three. Um, a lot of you know I'm lucky enough to be working over in Dubai, but um, that doesn't mean I'm not starting my preparation for the season that's coming. So how do we start? Obviously, I've not got my gun with me over here, but I would be doing a lot of dry mounting at home if I did. Now, when I do this in a specific way. A lot of people, when they mount the gun, they just keep mounting with the bead in focus here. Now, people that take lessons from me know that I use the bead as a big time reference, but not when I'm mounting. So what I would like you to try is mounting at home, but eyes looking back to the machine like they would be if you called Paul. You wouldn't be calling Paul like this, you would be calling Paul like this. So as you do go into that dry mounting drills, mount and separate your eyes. Both ways, just getting used to the comfort and the muscle memory. It's not necessarily looking down the bead. That will, what I found coming out of the last lockdown, people that did it when they just kept doing this is that when they called pull on the range, they stopped looking back because muscle memory was built in. So that's my first tip. Now, one other tip that I've been doing a lot of is research on the internet. Now, depending on what stage you're at, it will be depending on what you're researching. So I've been online on YouTube and I put mental pressure in sport and I came up with lots and lots and lots of different videos um, all on different people on different sports. Um, I had to go through them to find bits that were relative to me, but I could find some of the goal kickers in rugby that um, have that pressure of making that next shot of what their pre-shot or pre-kick routine was. I found that very interesting in a couple of notes that I've taken down on uh, the paper here of um, things that I'm going to try. Um, you can never stop learning. Now, breaking a clay pigeon to win a world championship is a pressurised situation. Don't get me wrong, it means the world to me. I've been in that situation numerous times. Some have uh, come out of very well and some I've flunked and I can look back and see why. Um, but I would hesitate to guess that kicking the winning goal at a World Cup in front of millions and millions of people, that pressure is mounted. So if I can learn something from these guys, you know, so YouTube has been a great avenue for that. Google, you know, even over here, I've read uh, these two books. These, they are rugby based, but um, Joe Marler suffered massively with mental health. Didn't want to, didn't want to play the game anymore. They've been exceptional for me to read and understand um, how he found himself again as an athlete. Um, so I do believe we can, done correctly, come out of this lockdown in a better mental state, prepared to compete. Start researching some grounds if you're thinking of going to Hungary this year. Hopefully travel's allowed. Um, I've got my apprehensions, but... Um, if travel is allowed, start Googling pictures from there. Last year, there's lots. It's in Hungarian, a lot of it, but we're not looking at the, the language. You're looking at the background, the topography. Who's going to be setting the targets? It's just been announced that Barbary's got the English Open. That's going to be Josh Browns and Hugh Stevens going to be setting the targets. Have you shot there before? Can you get a 100 birder in there before and support the ground in that way? Do you know what type of targets? I know they're both phenomenal shooters and they like to set big targets. Will they set big targets for the English? So I think you can definitely find yourself in a better mental state coming out of lockdown. Use YouTube. Um, I've typed um, reacting under pressure, pressure in sport, mental pressure in sport, pre-kick routine, archery. I've really gone deep over here. I'll try and put some of the, the tags below. But um, I would say that I'm learning every day. Um, obviously, I'm still teaching, but... Um, in my downtime by the pool, I've been doing a lot of research on this. So, guys, I, I, you can really, really up your game if you are willing to put an hour per day in sitting online and actually taking notes. I might put a link on here that was really relevant to me. It might not resonate with you of what you want to be looking at. So keep Googling down. Keep going on YouTube. You might find a different sport, be it wrestling, boxing, rugby, polo i've looked at them all karate and the things that i oh i like that that might not be you you might have my biggest fear is of fear is failure but the fear of failure is in my parents eyes not my own eyes i don't mind failing 
but I've always wanted to live up to my father, as I've said in previous videos. So don't just copy my um, videos that I post because my fears might be different for yours, but I can guarantee you with all the videos on there, there is, uh, there is lots. One that I found interesting, it was aimed at kids, but um, I did like a lot of what he says is on YouTube, mental toughness trainer. Mental toughness trainer on YouTube, 14,000 followers and some really interesting little clippets that you can take, take home with. So I hope this little video helps you out. Any questions, you can fire them to me on any form of uh, social media platform. I'm happy to help. My Instagram lives continue. Ben Husswaite, subscribe. Ben Husswaite, shooting coach are all on Instagram and you'll get some good clippets on there. So till then, stay safe and hopefully we'll be back out doing what we love soon. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.